Welcome to the flowerschool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today's segment is sure to be a favorite. I should probably title it, Since You Asked. Yes, today we're doing flowers for the church altar because you asked. Creating flowers for the altar does have challenges. Sometimes they need to last a little longer. Sometimes you might be in an environment that isn't air conditioned. Sometimes you don't have access to great materials. Well, thanks to our friends at Floor Abundance, I can show you how to work with what you have, make it long lasting and fabulous, and find amazing flowers. The container gives me a nice size. I'm actually using a brick and a half of foam. And once that's in there, I still have a nice water reservoir. So I can fill it with water, which will allow the flowers to last longer than if the foam were to dry out. One tip for you, the pro, make sure you have a great water reservoir. As you begin, you want to think about base materials that will last a very long time. Things like Israeli ruscus. You could actually use this over and over. It can last two or three weeks, as long as it doesn't dry out. Placing it down low to help break the line of the container, and then also bringing it up high just to make sure and add visual impact. Then using materials that will dry and look fabulous no matter what. Pompous grass, that's a nice one. Giving it a cut, determining how long it needs to be. And then breaking it down a bit. You don't want to take all of your foam space so breaking that off and then placing it into the foam, letting it angle outward. Bringing in preserved foliages. The preserved beech is fabulous because it too will last and last. Add beauty that you can reuse many, many times. Now at the season of celebrating the harvest, this harvest gold color is perfect. Then once you have your base materials, you can go back with other foliages and fill in for greater fullness. As you're working, make sure that everything is showing from the front. You don't want to waste your value on the back side because no one will see that. But you do want to finish the back. Take some foliage and bring it around. Make sure that all your mechanics are concealed so that nothing shows from the backside, but I'm not going to waste time and valuable materials back here. Then as I'm working, bringing in a little more, maybe adding some of that golden harvest onto this side, getting more color, and then preserved ferns, another item that can hold for so long and bring in little more of that harvest hue that can be reused at a later date. So tucking it in. Helping to break the line of the container. And coming over to the opposite side. And then for some basing, a bit of fascia right down at the bottom just to add a little more visual weight. To allow for maximum life, make the entire arrangement beautiful before you start adding in the flowers because this will hold for so long. You might be able to use it for two weeks, just freshening it with new flowers. Then once the base is done, you can go back and add beautiful roses. Maybe the heart of gold, isn't that a gorgeous color? making sure it gets down into the water well so it will drink. Maybe going to Garden Roses, the Caramel Antique. A nice, long-lasting rose. It holds very, very, very well. And Chrysanthemums, another long-laster. Fanning them out, letting them add color throughout and even hypericum. Beautiful peachy hue following along with the autumn colors. To finish, 
make sure you fill your water reservoir with water. You don't want it to dry out at all. Then when that's full, go through and spray all your blooms with crowning glory. That will lock the moisture in, making them last even longer and keeping the color natural. The recipe, everything came from floorabundance.com. I used five of the caramel antique roses and five of the heart of gold roses. Then I switched and I just worked with whole bunches. I have one bunch of the pompous, one bunch of the preserved fern, and one bunch of the preserved beech. Then one bunch of the hypericum, one of the chrysanthemum, and one of the fascia. Lastly, I used three bunches of ruscus and one bunch of nine bark to finish it off. Yes, you asked for a tutorial on flowers for a church altar, but this could be used anywhere that you're putting it at the very front of a room where no one is going to see the back. The back is just concealed with foliages, so you don't see the foam, you don't see the mechanics. There's absolutely no flowers. You're looking at everything from the front view. Now you'll find more creative inspiration and more designs that could be used on a church altar on the website, flowerschool.com. If you have questions, you can reach us through there or pick up the telephone and give us a call at 503-223-8089. Now it's your turn. What are you going to create? Big, large, making a statement. Gather your flowers, design a way, then make sure you take a picture, post it on social media, and hashtag Floral Design Institute. That way we all can see what you do as you do something you love.